and welcome back to my channel so listen today i want to talk about this um Dwayne Wade baby mama child i want to talk to you about Dwayne Wade baby mama and if she's wrong for not wanting zaza their daughter to fully have her changes done okay so look <clears throat> I got this article. Let's pull it up, child. So I got this article from the Daily Mail, okay? Because I just figured let's get it from the, you know, UK's perspective. <laughs> so um, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife claims, not baby mama, ex-wife, okay, claims he's exploiting their trans daughter, um, transgender daughter Zaya, Zaya for financial gain. Child's mother begs court to force her to wait until 18 before legally changing her anatomy. Let's say that. Okay. Dwayne Wade's ex-wife um, has filed paperwork this week. She's begging the judge to... Uh, uh, okay. So let's go down. Dwayne Wade's ex-wife has accused him of, ex accused him of exploiting um, their 15-year-old transgender daughter for financial gain and is begging court to, the court to intervene to stop her from changing her name and gender on her birth certificate. In court papers filed this week, they were obtained by the Blast, the, the, the ex-wife, um, the star's first wife and mother of his two oldest children, begged the judge to impose an order that would ban their 15-year-old daughter Zaza from legally changing her, zen, her gender from male to female until she is 18. Okay, Zaza, as we as she is known, came out at age 12 in 2019. Since then, she has won modeling contracts with brands like Tiffany, Dove, um, Ambos Hunt, and uh, what? Oh, and has now has hundreds of thousands of social media followers, according to her mom. And she was talking for she's to, and talks with deals with Disney. OK, she's often appeared on a red carpet with her father and her stepmother, Gabrielle, who has taken free, who was speaking frequently in interviews about their acceptance of the child and her choice. But the teen mom fears that she is being pressured into the permanent change by her father, who is poised to profit from the transition. She is fighting to block the gender and name change and wants Zaya to make the decision for herself when she is 18. I think that's all I have to read. I don't need to read anything more. Listen, my personal opinion, and this is just my opinion and all my opinions are mine. So, right, listen, things happen and, you know, we don't know. People... People want to be girls. And people. It is what it is. I do comprehend a thousand percent why the mother would like for her daughter, okay, to wait until she is legal and so she is of a legal age to be able to complete these surgeries, right? Now, I'm not necessarily going to say that Wade, that Dwayne is trying to take a financial advantage of his child, but I'm going to say that. I think it is a consideration, okay? I think it is a consideration. And I don't think that, and I think that sometimes being in the public eye and um, those kind of things can force people to go, to go further than they are ready for at a specific time. She's only 19 years, I mean, she's only 15 years old. You know, who knows if she wants to end up having to do that, you know, completely, you know, become a girl. Right. At the end of the day, she might end up wanting to be a girl, but with her parts. Right. And she has to understand that and be able to grow in her own truth and understand herself without people telling her what to do. I've watched a couple of these TLC shows and shows about, you know, with a lot of kids like this. And people don't seem to comprehend that it has to 1000 percent be the kid's choice just because a child says, you know, okay, I want to at a young age, they might not want to be that when they grow up. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a one of the, I wanted to be a boy. I wanted to be a boy so bad, but the reality is I only wanted to be a boy because my all my cousins and all my brothers, the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to know why I couldn't go outside with our t-shirt like the rest of them. That didn't mean that I was, you know, and that I wanted to be able to cut things off. I think sometimes we want to support our kids so bad as well. I think that sometimes we want to support our kids so bad that we do too damn much. That we do too damn much. 
And we need to learn how to separate being friends from your child than being your child's parent. You can be your child's friend when they're over the age of 25. And the reality is that we have to be their parents and we have to do what's best for them. Okay. It is a lot of statistics that say that the, especially, especially, especially when they got these um, procedures done in their, or in their teenage years. Okay. That a lot of people have regret. Right. And we don't want to put our own kid in the, we don't want to be so accepting to every little thing our kids say that in the end, at that, that at the end of the day, they're going to resent us because we were supposed to be the adults and not just let them be all willy nilly and do whatever. Right. I agree 1000% that she should wait until she's 18 and legal enough to make that decision for herself. Honestly, I think 21, but at least 18. And especially when we start talking about these these deals and shit. And the reality is Dwayne Wade is kind of a sub and he do whatever his wife say. And. Hmm. Now I'm done. And as always, I'm going to hope you leave your life like live your life like it's golden because there's no other way to live it. Okay.